सो वॉर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल पीपल दिस इज समर वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम लेंस टूडे इज ब्लॉग इज गोइंग टू बी ए लिटिल डिफरेंट आई एम वर्किंग ऑन माई टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ट्राइम्फ थंडर बर्ड स्टॉम सेवनटीन हंड्रेड सी सी हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सेवन एन एम एफ टॉक एंड नाइन्टी सेवन बी एच पी इट्स ट्रूली अ मॉन्स्टर इट्स अ बेसिक सर्विस दर आम डूइंग ऑन माई ओन एक्चुअली आई एम ट्राइंग टू चेंज द स्पार्क प्लग ऑफ दिस बाइक दर आर फोर स्पार्क प्लग सो फर्दर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू चेंज द स्पार्क प्लग ऑफ अ सुपर बाइक थिंग्स टू कीप इन माइंड एंड थिंग्स टू डू टू अवॉइड एनी ट्रेवल वाइल्ड वर्किंग ऑन अ सुपर बाइक सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो वी हैव डिसकनेक्टेड दी फ्यूल टैंक एज यू कैन सी यर वी हैव रिमूव दिस speedometer console because without that you won't be able to remove the tank as you can see there are four spark plugs over here one two three and the fourth one is here this is the fitting where the spark plug sit inside i'll show you the spark plugs now these are the spark plugs I just removed it from their packing. I bought these spark plugs extra from Triumph itself just in case I want to replace them on my own. We were planning a long ride and you know we thought of keeping these spark plugs handy just in case if we want to replace them on our own. So yeah, hopefully we should be done in next one or two hours. As you can see guys, we have removed one spark plug. You can see the amount of dust and dirt inside. Now we are going to clean that. And there is one important thing that my brother will tell you about uh, removing this spark plug, about the socket of removing this spark plug and this hole where the spark plug sits. So guys, uh, before starting any job, you should have a right tool for the job that you are going to do. Even if it is very simple or easy doing job, or like you think that yes, I have done this couple of times before, but you still need to have a right tool for the job. You need to make sure that these things, these holes. they are of a specific diameter and the tools that are designed for those kind of jobs are special tools see this is the general socket that you can get in the workshop but these are like general sockets so these the wall thickness of this socket is thick as you can see and because of this thickness this if you try to put this socket even though it is the right size but because of this thickness the wall thickness if you put it inside the hole and you try to unscrew the spark plug it will unscrew no problem but the chances are high that this socket can get seized into that hole which is of the exact diameter of this socket so before starting this especially these kind of jobs you have to make sure that the tools that you are using can go in and come out easily so just imagine that if i put this in and it got seized that will be a nightmare to repair i've grinded over here so that it can go in and easily come out so that it doesn't seize with the body so that is actually a very good point uh, you know explained by my brother you need to have the right tool to work on the bike or car whatever you're working on now we're going to spray some wd-40 to clean that hole where the spark plug sits you need to have the right tools for the right equipment uh as you can see this spark plug air gap that needs to be 0.9 mm for triumph thunderbird storm we have this filler gauge we need to check it has actually got sizes on it you need to make sure that you match and make it 0.9 mm so that this spark plug sits and fits properly in the bike and give right amount of spark to the bike so as you can see this is the old spark plug it has got rusted from here and the whole point of changing this spark plug on time is so that you know with time this won't break inside the engine that would be a bigger problem then so you need to make sure that you change the spark plug on time as per the service interval and don't skip this part and even this electrode inside this spark plug get worn off with time so you need to make sure that you don't skip changing spark plug or else this will not give the right amount and the right continuity of spark to the engine so while putting the new spark plug inside this hole you need to make sure that you use a torque wrench but if you don't have it simply use your hand and you know give it a hand tight don't go crazy on that or else it will be it might damage the spark plug 
So just put the wrench inside and just give it a nip, a slight hand tight, that's it. So as you can see we are done with one spark plug now in the similar manner we'll change all the four and keeping all the things in mind that I've told you while replacing all the four spark plugs. This is just a drain over here. So one thing to keep in mind is that the initial thread or the initial uh, turns of the spark plugs are very sensitive just to make sure that it's sitting right on the thread you need you can use this spark plug cable to hand tight it and then use the wrench to completely tighten the spark plug So guys another important part is that this plastic piece that you see here all the wires sit on the top of this plastic piece which get bolted over here and over here it's very important to place all the wires and cables and hose above this plastic piece or else this will touch the engine and everything will get burnt so you need to make sure that all the wires are above that plastic and nothing is touching the engine I have seen instances wherein you know the wires are not fitted properly from the Triumph showroom itself I saw a video on YouTube all the wires got burnt so this is something that you need to take care of make sure nothing is touching the engine as you can see everything is sitting on this plastic piece the hoses are fitted properly the wires are fitted properly they are clipped properly nothing is hanging and everything is fine now so at this point of the video we were done changing the spark plugs we started refitting the components of the bike as you can see I did not shoot the part of the video where I cranked up the engine because it was getting too dark but I shot that video uh, next day in the morning and I'll show you now So yeah, everything went well and with that sweet engine sound, let's close this video. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Do share this video with your family and friend and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace.